You know, today is uh, February 24. It is a significant day in Ghana's political calendar. Daughter of for, uh, Ghana's former president, that's the, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, Samia Nkrumah, says that her father's overthrow has cost the country's wealth and a better economy. She spoke with TV3's Evelyn Timmer. Samia Nkrumah, who was five and a half years when her father was overthrown, recounts the story. Our father, thankfully, was not in the country. He was on his way uh, to broker peace between Hanoi and Washington. The second day, in the middle of the night, we woke up at the sound of gunshots, ordered to leave the house with nothing. After a long day of just moving from one place to another, we ended up at the CID police headquarters. And we waited for the Egyptians to come and take us to the airport. At the end of that day, we were taken in an Egypt air flight to Cairo, where, of course, we lived for a few years. It could justify that. I, 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 I have no answer for that. I don't think anything justifies a violent military takeover. She says it was not possible to negate her father's legacy. Do you know that his, it was a crime to even have a picture of his? His books were burned after the illegal overthrow. So they've always been attempt to do away with his legacy. I think it's impossible because the more time passes, the more evidence emerges about what really was happening under Kwame Nkrumah's rule. And the more time passes, and we, Ghana, we are grappling, finding it so challenging to meet the basic needs of our people then, you know, the average Ghanaian. She said the winner takes all and powers of the president enshrined in the constitution would have to be reviewed. Because if you have so much power, it can only be good if you are giving this power back to the people. But you have a lot of power, and it's only with you or with a few, then of course that's not the right thing to do. So he even qualified one party states. So he, 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 it has to be. The former Jomoro MP said if the country's leaders had implemented Dr. Nkrumah's seven years development plan, there would have been no need for Ghana Beyond Eight and the One District, One Factory policy.